Les, congratulations on being selected as the Texas Fire Chief of the Year. It seems like yesterday that I bought a house across the street from you and your dad in River Oaks in 1985. You were 13 years old, you were in the eighth grade, and I was surprised to learn that your mother passed away when you were just an infant and you and your dad lived alone. It was hard for me to understand how a little kid could do all the things my mother did for me. You did your own laundry, you went grocery shopping and cooked for two, you mowed and worked and made your own money. You bought your own school clothes. And you signed all your parent permission slips from school. You were still able to make good grades doing all this. And you were able to handle your business at 13 years old better than some adults can today. It's odd for a kid to be able to teach a grown man so many things about living on my own. That's what you did ever since I met you. In 1988, when you turned 16, you were able to join the River Oaks Volunteer Fire Department. You were a high school student and had to bring your report card in every six weeks because of the no pass, no play rule. In 1989, the other young men at the River Oaks Fire Department were looking up to you because they knew you were a leader. You didn't just talk about what you were doing. You showed them you were on a mission. You attended Tarrant County College Fire School and were well on your way to a career in the fire service. When you were just 17, you accepted a job with the Ranger Fire Department in Ranger, Texas. The job didn't pay much, but you sure taught us a lesson on how to chase a dream. In 1990, you turned 18. You had a job offer from San Angelo and another from Garland. You had a tough decision to make and you chose Garland. By the time you were 18, you had three fire department job offers. This is incredible. While you worked in Garland, you inspired me to take multiple fire department tests. I got frustrated because I was not doing well. I told you these tests were stupid and I didn't think I was gonna take any more. I'll never forget what you told me. You said that'd be fine because the fire service doesn't want any quitters. Well, you did it again, Les. You lit a fire under me and that sent me on a mission to get a job. I bought books, I studied, I put in the time and effort and I was fortunate enough to go to work in Garland, Texas, right beside you. I've never been happier. We've been the best of friends for 37 years, Les, and I'm very proud of your achievements, and you've definitely made our profession better because of your hard work and leadership. Thank you for all you have done to improve the fire service. I wish your dad were here to see your success. I know he'd be very proud of you. I know I am. I love you, Les. Captain Ron Short, Garland Fire Department. Les Stevens, Texas Fire Chief of the Year. I first met you back in March 4th, 1991. We both started our careers with the Garland Fire Department as members of class number 26. I'd like to ask who on that day would have thought that young 18 year old kid that we came to nickname Puddin would be honored today as Texas Fire Chief of the Year. I can say no one. Well, of course you, because we all know that everyone that's here today knows you've never been short of confidence in yourself. Actually, I've had the pleasure of getting to know you over the last 31 years, and I can honestly say today's award is no surprise. The only surprise is that it's taken so long for you to be honored. I just want to say thank you for your friendship, for you being willing to let me vent, for pushing me to be better, and I can honestly say those of us who've gotten to know you and this profession you've chosen to devote your life to are all the better for it. So congratulations on your award today, Texas Fire Chief of the Year, Les Stevens. I love you, brother. Congratulations, Chief Stevens. Uh, thank you very much for being an amazing uh, director, uh, supervisor, friend. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations on winning the Fire Chief of the Year. You are definitely a powerhouse in this department. Congratulations, Les, on being the most amazing chief in the state of Texas. We can be happier to have you here in San Marcos with us. Hey Chief, congratulations. This award is um, very well deserved. Uh, I appreciate you and all that you do to make this department great. That's right. Chief is so awesome. Isn't he amazing? Thanks for getting us this copy, Chief. Hey Les, wow, look at you. 30 years later, and you still continue to have the same passion for the fire service as the day I met you. You have been a dedicated servant 
and you've been a tremendous leader at continuing to move the fire service in a positive direction. My utmost congratulations to you for being awarded the Texas Fire Chief of the Year. And in closing, man, thank you for being a good friend and a great mentor. Continue on, my friend. Hey, congratulations, Chief. Chief, um, I think it's BS that you're getting this award. Like, I don't appreciate having to stay up at the office till 2 a.m. every morning just to like get work done that you make me do. My wife definitely doesn't appreciate it. But then you got me this jacket, and I've changed my mind. So, congrats, bro. I love this thing, and I, I can't wait to wear it. Hey Les, you know, it was an excellent run with you. I can't tell you how much we admire you, we love you, and uh, we look forward to what's next for you. Um, I, I know you've got some pretty good bartending skills, um, so, you know, you might want to look into that. So if there's anything I can do to give you a reference, let me know. Congratulations, Les. Nobody deserves it more than you. We, we have been around, shit, 12 years now, and we are still kicking ass, so. If nobody says that you need less to have more, you definitely need to have less to have more. So, congratulations, buddy. Thank you so much, Les, for everything you've done for the fire service. We appreciate you every day. Moving on, good luck with everything you do. Thank you again. Oh, good Lord. Les, this is the absolute best that we could do out of the entire Texas fire service. Mr. Les? No, brother, seriously, thank you for all that you've done for all the years, for all of the Texas Fire Service, for all of our members. You've been amazing, man. you got big shoes to fill, Donnie Norman, to take over for that. Congratulations on Fire Chief of the Year, my friend. Congratulations to Les Stevenson, my friend, my buddy, for Fire Chief of the Year for 2022. Les, uh, congratulations is not enough to express how much I appreciate you, for not only for being a fire chief here in the state of Texas, but really for being my friend. I recall when I first came here to Texas from Georgia, man, you just opened up your arms, you showed me around the state, you introduced me to other chief officers and administrators within the Texas Fire Chief Association and the Texas Commission of Fire Protection. So Les, I just really appreciate everything you have done to support me and the Texas Fire Chief Association. As a matter of fact, your support for the state of Texas. So once again, congratulations Les. An honor well deserved and well earned. Thanks again, buddy. Hey, Les, congratulations on being awarded Fire Chief of the Year. It's very deserving. We appreciate everything you've done for the Texas Fire Chiefs. Howdy, I'm David Coatney, and I just want to say thank you and congratulations to Chief Les Stevens. I've known Chief Stevens, oh my gosh, not quite as long as I've been in the fire service, but for a long time. And everything he does is top notch. He's always forward leaning, and he's always there be able to answer a phone, answer a text, and help other people out. So Les, congratulations my friend. Very well deserved. Hey Les, congratulations buddy. No one deserves it more than you and hey, thank you for all you've done for the fire service in Texas and our organization. Love you buddy. Thank you. Hey Les, congratulations on Fire Chief of the Year. You're well deserving of it and you do more for the fire service than just about anybody out there and we appreciate you so much. Thanks for all the hard work. It's paying off for all of us. Congratulations to Les Stevens on his Fire Chief of the Year award. We know he's a very smart fire chief because he hired one fire marshal and he got two for the price of one. Hey Chief Stevens, congratulations on your award. A quick memory, uh, you were, you were had, you had this wakeboard boat, we were uh, took this wakeboarding and I could not get up my, my first day, my first time ever on the thing. And I, I really think I kept count, I think I was at, attempt 31, 32, 33, and I was not getting up, and I was frustrated and embarrassed beyond belief. And you just kept cool and happy and fun. You said, don't worry about it. And I, I just felt like I was wasting everybody's time. I was so embarrassed. You never, you didn't let me quit. And you said, no, it's okay, you'll get it this next time. Maybe on about try 37, I did finally get up, and it's like, oh, that's actually not so hard. And I was able to wakeboard the rest of the summer. But uh, yeah, that's just you, man, you know? You, Quit wasn't really part of your your the equation, so um, yeah, we still miss you here in Garland. Chief Stevens, I just want to congratulate you on earning the award of uh, Fire Chief of the Year, the Texas Fire Chief Association. Uh, you're, man, I'm telling you what, nobody else deserves it more than you. 12 years ago when you came to San Marcos, our slogan was, hey, do more with less. 
And by golly, in 12 years, we've done more with you than I've done in the, my 32 years there with previous people. Not that they were bad people, but do more with less, and that's you, buddy. I appreciate you, and congratulations.